guys. <laughs> Welcome back to my studio. I'm Julie E. This is Acrylic Painting with Julie E. Today we're not going to be acrylic painting. We are going to be alcohol inking. I have got some new furniture and I went with some orange accents, some burnt orange accents. So I ordered some new alcohol ink colors. This one is terracotta. This one is rust. And um, yeah, the uh, furniture itself, I'll pull up a picture here for you. You can see that it's um, kind of a bluish grayish in tone. It's got some um, kind of bluish charcoal type throw pillows. And then I got the um, gray and um, burnt orange throw pillow covers to um, kind of give it a little pop of color in there and stuff. So I want to do a big wall piece in alcohol inks. I've got a big two by three board over there that I want to work on, but I want to make sure that my colors are correct first. So basically what I do is when I get new colors, what I like to do is I like to test them to see what types of other colors are in them because sometimes as they bleed out and fade out you will notice other tones coming up out of the inks besides the main um, fully saturated color. So once it's unsaturated and flowing out you can see all the some of the other colors that were mixed in there to make that one color. And so that's what we're gonna do. Uh, let me go grab my little alcohol bottle. Here it is right here. And um, yeah, and the best thing to test them on are just the glazed tiles that you get from like Lowe's, Home Depot, um, Floor and Decor, that's where I got mine. And I have the backs taped off in case I decide I want to do a set of coasters, which I probably will. But first, let's see what kind of undertones are in these. And we'll start out with just the rust first. Oh, I splashed a little bit. But, all right, so there it is. It is dry now. It is, oh, no, it's not dry. <laughs> it was not fully dry, but it's pretty much dry around the edges. So we're just gonna kind of play with it, see what shades it makes. Boy, that's a pretty, pretty fingerprint, isn't it? I'm just gonna puff it out, puff it out. Right away I can see there's kind of a peachy and pinky -ish yellow hue in there. And it looks like I'm getting some browns too. that is once it's kind of blown out and hopefully the camera can pick up those different tones. There was the original when it dried, nice and dark like that. And then these are the shades of it as it was diluted and um, blown out so all right let's try let's see that was the rust right okay so that was the rust let's put that up there and set that one aside the next new one I have is the terracotta okay put a couple drops down just like that that is really pretty really pretty. Boy, is that pretty and orangey. How pretty is that? And then I'm just going to let that sit there and dry a moment. While the terracotta dries, I'm going to do another drop. Um, this is an old one I have, but I really haven't worked with it a lot. It is, um, what is this one? Sunset Orange. Sunset Orange by Ranger. Come on. Oop, there we go. And I'll just that down. It looks very close to terracotta right now. Looks very close to terracotta. I 
they very similar? We'll have to see as they dry. Okay, this one is dry enough. So let me set that aside, let that one dry. Put that ink bottle by there. This one's terracotta. All right, so just run some alcohol over the top of it and start poofing it around. See if you can see the difference between the rust and the terracotta. You wouldn't think there would be a big difference, but there is. This one definitely has a lot more orange in it, so I like this color more. All right, so there is the rust. Here is the terracotta. And then let's go with our sunset orange see what we get from this one. So I want to leave some of that original color. Very, very bright. Very orange. And as you blow it out, you get colors of yellow. Very pretty. Very pretty. And then we're still getting some peach content to it too. All right. That is pretty. So there is the sunset orange. There is the terracotta. I love. And then there is the rust. And I think I'm going to leave the rust out. I'm not sure. I don't think I want those shades of brown. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> I have to test it with the other colors still. And let's see. This is kind of a gray blue. It's called Monsoon. It's gorgeous. But it definitely has a lot of different tones to it also. Let's see if I can bring them out for you. Okay. So that is the monsoon. And then this is um, Picasso in navy blue. I love this one, I like that one a lot. Okay. And then we're gonna do one more here. This is T-Rex in Pacific Blue. Very pretty color. Now, why is it important to do these types of tests? Well, for one reason, um, they blend just like paints. And certain colors, you need to know what other colors develop out from them because when they blend with the other inks that you're using, some of those undertones will mix too. So you don't want a big cloud of mud floating around and drying on your on your substrate. So that's why I like to do little tests. Okay, this one was the T-Rex Monsoon. It's one of my favorites because of how much it blends out and fades into so much prettiness. Where did I put my little bottle of alcohol? There it is. <laughs> right in front of you, Julie. Okay, so let's Put that down there. Get our little woo. Get a little woo. Yep, that's it. Get a little puffer. And you can see right away, you can start seeing kind of that gray tone come out of there. Put a little bit 
more on here. Plus you can also see how these inks behave when you do these tests too. Not all inks behave the same. Some dry a little faster, some dry a little shinier. Um, some will grab your substrate a little bit harder and more. But, okay, you can see there's quite a few different colors in there. Look at that. It's almost kind of a lavenderish type undertone there where it goes and then goes into green. I don't know if you can see that. I'm hoping the camera can pick it up. But see all those different tones that it goes through? Just beautiful to see some of the different colors that come out of these inks. And that was Monsoon. So I'll set that over here. Okay, what was our next one? Let's go with the Picasso in navy blue. This is a cheaper ink. Um, so it's not as pigmented, but it, it is pretty and it's what I started out with before I moved into the Rangers. Now see, I can already see a really pink line. I don't know if you can see that line developing there. Almost every time I puff, a little fluorescent line kind of forms. Right along that dry line. This one has a lot of kind of purple undertone and I'm trying to tilt it hopefully where you can kind of pick up those pinkish lines without so much glare. Gosh, there's a lot of glare. Sorry about that guys. But there are definite pink hue to this, almost a fluorescent pink kind of hue to it. Oh, maybe right there in that corner you can see it a little bit. Yeah, it's, it's different. <laughs> and something I definitely don't want coming up in this um, um, ink piece that I'm going to be working on so we won't be using the navy blue by Picasso. Alright, what else did we have? We had the Pacific Blue by T-Rex. Okay. And we will give this one a shot. Oh, purples right away. Can you see those purples? Right away we're getting purples. in a gorgeous blue, but we are getting purples out there in the big bleed out. Now, I know I don't want to use this one. I know I don't want to use that one, so I'm going to take that out. And this is white. Oh, sorry, shaking all over. This is why alcohol inking and doing these tests on tiles is so great because you just add a little bit of alcohol and boom. I 
keep it clean. Let's see, I have got Baja Blue by Pinata. Let's give this one a shot. See what I mean about inks behaving differently? Some will just hit and spread and spread and spread. Others will hit and stay exactly where you put it. So each ink is always different. Okay, it's tacky dry, so let's ink part of it. It is pretty much staying consistent all the way through as far as its color. It's just lighter tones of the same color. There really aren't a lot of other undertones to this color. It's really pretty. Really pretty. So now, now let's try Mantia Black next to it. Loving this one. So let's put that there. See, they blend really kind of pretty. Very reminiscent of the monsoon in a way. Similar. Look very similar. Now let's test the Baja Blue. There we go. Monsoon. Some spread, <laughs> some stay put. And what I'm doing is I'm letting them get kind of tacky dry in between each dot so that they don't kind of overtake each other too much. Okay, one tiny drop of the Mantia Black over here. Ooh. And it's growing, growing, growing. <laughs> so I'm gonna put one more drop of pinata, um, Baja Blue, over here. Sorry for the noise going on upstairs. The hubby is up there moving all kinds of stuff around. Okay, and then I'm going to use the um, by the terracotta. The terracotta. Some little drops of that. Hopefully it won't get too muddy. And then uh, this is the sunset. This is the sunset orange drops of that. I'll let that play. Okay, it's still running a bit. The humidity is a little high right now. We've got a low pressure system moving back in. Inks don't always behave and they tend to beat up and sweat up in high humidity. All the colors. And then I'm just gonna push down. Push it down, push it down, push it down.
blue might be too bright. It might be too bright of a blue for what I'm going for. Now I'm pushing back upward. Pushing it up, pushing it up, pushing it up. And then pushing it back down, pushing it back down, pushing it back down. I'm loving where these fade and bleed into each other. See, I love this look right in here. Yeah, that blue is too bright for what I'm gonna go for. In a different painting, oop, my alcohol's getting low. What a cool effect though, huh? Little, <laughs> little bubbles. And now we're just getting mud. Now we're just getting mud. So let's go ahead and leave out the Baja blue and the black. Okay, I've got more alcohol. Got another paper towel. And we clean it right up. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, so what did we say we were gonna do? Just the, let's see, the terracotta, the sunset orange, and the monsoon. I think that's it. Let's try these three together. All right, let's go with the terracotta. And then the sunset. All right, there's our monsoon. Now, that across. Let it sit for a second. I'm not getting too fond of that green color. So what I might do is I might put the terracotta next to the monsoon instead of the yellower um, sunset because I'm getting a lot of green tones. I don't know if you can see them or not, but there are some green tones in there. Okay, so now we got monsoon. Now, Let's go with terracotta next to this because I don't think it has as many um, bright yellow undertones in it. There we go. It had a lot more red. Oh, I wonder if we're gonna get purples. Hmm. There's our brighter, yellowier orange. Our sunset. There we go. That's plenty. Gosh, that is so pretty. Yes, I'm loving this. Those are our colors. <laughs> These are the colors that we are going to use in our big piece. They are to the um, Ranger Sunset Orange, Ranger Terracotta, and Monsoon by T-Rex. 
I hope you found this as informative as I always do when I do these tests. I just, I, I love seeing the different undertones that you can get and how they blend and how they play. And I think these play very nicely together. So, I'm excited to do the big piece. That'll be fun. But until then, loves and hugs you all. Bye! Not a bad match, huh? Pretty darn close. <laughs> okay. Loves guys.